open up a file here. And uh, the file is currently 8 inches wide by 8 inches tall. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and file print. We're going to choose our RIP here, Screen RIP Pro, and uh, go to Properties. And we're going to set up our page size now. And we'll just go to uh, post, uh, Postscript Custom Page Size with an 8 inch width and height. And we're going to make sure this is monochrome. Advanced settings, we're going to go to uh, screening. And we have this option for document defined halftone or rip defined. Now, this is going to be a process separation. Um, in film, uh, typically for screen printers, your angles are 22 and a half degrees uh, beginning, and in uh, offset press, it usually starts out at 45. So we're going to do rip defined because we want the uh, our rip to tell it 22 and a half degrees. Now we can say document defined and we can change those settings right here in our separations tab if we wanted to. Uh, currently it's defaulted um, at 45 degrees or I'm sorry 45 um, frequency with a, a 45 degree angle. Um, and, but in this case we're just going to let the rip do it so it doesn't really matter what we choose here. We're going to turn off any kind of, oh, not this one, I'm sorry, pre-press. We're going to turn off any kind of registration marks. And uh, if we want those on, we just need to make sure our document size is smaller than our printed page size. Uh, but in this case, we're matching it, so we're just going to leave it as is. We go ahead and hit print, and it's going to run the separations. Now, to save film... Uh, we're going to have we're going to print this on a 17 inch by 21 inch page so we're going to have some film left over on the bottom so what we're going to do is i think i'm going to open this up okay we have a 15 inch wide by three looks like three and a half inches tall yep right here so we're going to go file print once again we're going to choose our screen rip pro Go into Properties, Page Setup, and this time it's a very good uh, practice to always make sure your width is your smallest dimension. So in this case we're going to say 3.5 inches and height is 17, or I'm sorry, 15 inches. And we're going to do Short Edge First, and with Short Edge First that basically says, okay, Right here is your three and a half, and it's going to run vertical. So that's going to give us our uh, portrait mode. Uh, now down here, we're going to change that portrait mode, the orientation of the page, to landscape. Now that'll get rid of any kind of conflict that uh, people have with page orientation. And all this, out, all else should be good. So we'll just go ahead and print that as well. Now what we can do is go right into the RIP, and you can see uh, in our process pages, the RIP has already um, finished the uh, pages here. We got a process job. You can see it's already finished the job, and we're currently ripping that last file. Okay, now that that's finished, I want to show you where the settings are. Under Settings, go to Program Settings, and you can see Nesting is enabled. If I disabled this, I have the ability to hold all pages in the queue um, and then I can release them one by one or I can automatically send them to the printer. As soon as it's finished processing, it's going to begin to render and print on, uh, at that point. So, uh, but because we have nesting enabled, these features are um, grayed out and your hold pages is selected. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that out. Now with these jobs finished, we just need to go to nesting. And you can see we have all of these items in here. Now if I select all of these jobs, I've got my uh, uh, all these pages here. I have my sheet size set at 1721. So we can choose various settings. We can do custom page size to save on film, uh, that type of thing. But right now we have them set at 1721. If I select all of these, you can see the Coopers. Um, is vertical. Now um, that's what I told it to do 
but the page orientation I said was landscape. So it basically took that and rotated it to match. So we're going to have a vertical image here. Now, if I just place all of these, it's going to basically tell me, no, you can't do that. Not all objects fit on the sheet. Now, if I wanted to, I could go back in here, select it, and now I can choose place rotated. It's going to rotate it and place it in um, the proper position. It's going to remove all those again. Down here, we have allow auto rotation. If I wanted to, I can click on that, select all, and place. It's going to automatically rotate it for me now. Now that being said, let's go ahead and let's just, just place the single item. We can just place it like this. Now that we have this here, I can rotate this file. And I can remove that as well. Or I can place the rotated as we had already seen before select all and we can just place the rest now because I had um, basically this rotated here it just defaulted and the other ones are going to rotate so it doesn't really matter um, you can always remove one item at a time if you wanted to and you can uh, just go back and forth and get it basically to the point where you like it now these do move now that you uh, have already placed them they do move now this is going to snap in place just because there's no additional files here. Uh, but then at this point, all we need to do is send sheet to printer. And it's going to begin to assemble the sheet and it's going to go ahead and print it directly. So if you have any other questions or problems, uh, there's a, uh, under the start menu, we do have under all programs, we can look under here and we can go to our screen rip pro section and we have documentation right here. We have our manual that explains all of this and more, uh, the, the various features of ScreenRip Pro. Thanks a lot, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.